Yo, what up? It's your boy Moonshine back again with another production tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to use MIDI outs in FL Studio and how you can use MIDI outs to control multiple instruments within one instance of a VSTI. Now this works particularly well with VSTIs like Hypersonic 2, uh, Sample Tank, Contact. These particular VSTIs give you the room to actually select multiple instruments and uh, within one instance and you can use the MIDI outs to control those multiple instruments. And uh, this is actually beneficial in a couple of ways. Uh, one, it would, you know, for organization's sake, it makes it look cleaner. And uh, two, it actually saves uh, processing power only having one VSTI open as opposed to having one VSTI open per instrument. You can actually have four or five or up to 16 multiple instruments off of one VSTI. Um, you know, and it would actually save you some uh, power and uh, memory, you know, to keep your computer from taking a performance hit. So uh, what we're going to do is that we're actually going to go and um, demonstrate this with two uh, VSTIs. Uh, we have uh, Hypersonic 2 and we have Sample Tank 2. And uh, what we're going to do is that uh, we're going to take a look at Hypersonic 2. Now right now if you take a look, I have uh, three presets here selected. Um, and number one would be the Grand Piano. Two would be the Classic B, which is an organ. And uh, three is uh, Tremolo Strings, which is pretty self-explanatory. Self so the confusing thing here, especially when you first start, uh, when you have hypersonic open, and even if you select multiple instruments here, it's only going to play the one at the top. So right there, you hear the piano right there. So the problem with this, of course, is that I mean, you know, it's it's nice to have all these instruments listed here, but it's pretty much useless if you can't play any of them except for the top one. This is where the MIDI outs come in. So. Basically what a MIDI out is, is that it's pretty much, you assign it, you know, you add it to your project like any other channel, whether it be a sampler, an audio clip, the MIDI out is something that you can add in as well. And uh, once you have the MIDI, the, uh, MIDI out in there, you can assign it notes, you can, uh, you know, just do whatever you do to a normal instrument channel, a sampler or whatever, and um, it takes, it basically spits out MIDI signals. And what you could do is take a, a MIDI out, and it'll take those MIDI signals and push it towards a VSTI and uh, that's basically how you're going to control these three instruments using only this one instance of Hypersonic 2. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look here now every VSTI has this particular um, button right here, this uh, gear you're going to click on this gear and it's going to bring up this uh, window right here now the particular part of this window to note is this right here this section right here, the import input port, and uh, basically what this is is this. This is how you're gonna let the. This is basically the port that the MIDI outs are gonna point to, so it knows what VSTI to go and play. So what we're gonna do, usually by default, it leaves you with these dashes right here. We're gonna ma make it uh, port zero, and uh, we're gonna go add ourselves a MIDI out. So we're gonna go to channels, and we're gonna go to uh, MIDI out. And that'll uh, give us our MIDI out right here. And this is the the window for the MIDI outs, the settings. And the uh, the two parts of this particular window that you want to note are the port and the channel. Now the port actually corresponds to the input port that we had here in Hypersonic. So here we have an input port of zero. You want to make sure that the MIDI out has a port of zero. And the channels here, the this uh, particular box right here, the channel, actually corresponds to the number instrument that you have here. So once you have the port, you know, once you have the two ports matching, right, the port on the MIDI out, and then the port over here on hypersonic, you can actually start using the MIDI out to go and play instruments in hypersonic. So right now we have port zero, channel one. So channel one over here on port zero, which is hypersonic two, is the grand piano. So if we select the MIDI out right now, it's going to play the piano. Okay. If we take a look now and we go and shift channel channel one right here, we make this channel two. It's going to go and play the second instrument here, which is classic B, which is an organ. So here, look, port zero, channel two. There's your organ. Same thing. If we were to go and move it to channel three. you get the strings that we assigned channel 3 so 
you know that's it's pretty straightforward on how to use it and then what you can do is that you can add multiple MIDI outs and then you would just pretty much assign assign them accordingly so here we are what we could do MIDI out let's just you know just to make this nice and neat make this channel one MIDI out two is going to be channel two and MIDI out three is going to be channel three so right here MIDI out one plays the piano MIDI out two plays the organ, MIDI out three, plays the strings. So it's pretty cool because then you, we've only added this one particular instance of Hypersonic 2. Now I know what in the past when I didn't know how to, how to use uh, MIDI outs, I would have you know one instance of let's say sample tank for an organ, another instance of sample tank for a piano or whatever. Um, this actually saves you from having to do that. You only open up one instance of Hypersonic 2 you can go up to like 16 different instruments and presets right here and then you would just use the MIDI outs to go and control you know any of those 16 and then what you would basically do is that if you were to do that with let's say you had two different uh, VSTIs that could do that let's say sample tank you would basically give sample tank a different input port number so let's make it like let's say input port 1 and then when you add another uh, MIDI out just make sure that you make sure you select port 1 you know channel 1 let's say we're gonna go pick our like a random instrument for this let's say um, make one that's completely different from let's say drums brush dry let's say if you were to take a look at MIDI uh, out 4 this corresponds to port 1 channel 1 There's your drums from Sample Tank. So all in all, just using MIDI outs and those two particular um, VSTIs, MIDI out four plays the drums on Sample Tank. MIDI out three plays the strings from Hypersonic. MIDI out two plays the organ from Hypersonic, and MIDI out one plays the piano. So this could, you know, this turns out to be very useful, and basically you can assign this uh, anything you want in the step sequencer or in the piano roll. If I wanted to do, you know, basically play, you know, uh, whatever, I can play an F chord right here, an F major, you know, the same way that I would do on any what do you call it, on any instrument. You can do it through the MIDI out as well. And basically, the MIDI out, all the MIDI out is going to do is push the signals to the VSTI and play which you would probably normally assign to the VSTI channel itself. So one of the other reasons why that we did this, um, that uh, we're doing this uh, tutorial right now uh, is because for the, you know, for the many users that went to the production vault and downloaded the production, uh, the what do you call it, the Hypersonic 2 VSTI, they might have experienced some issues where it's not saving the presets and things like that. To uh, avoid that, uh, you would actually use this method of using Hypersonic 2 as opposed to assigning note values and other things to Hypersonic 2 you would use MIDI outs and as long as you only use one instance of Hypersonic 2 and the mid and use the MIDI outs making sure that there are no note values on the Hypersonic 2 channel itself and all through MIDI outs you will not have those preset issues it won't freeze or anything another thing to note too when using Hypersonic 2 is that you want to make sure that you open it first so actually even before you open up any VSTIs or anything in your project let's say you're starting a brand new one you want to open up hypersonic first and that'll actually alleviate a couple of the other problems too of it crashing and crashing FL Studio